Hi, my loves, welcome back. Today we're gonna do a really fun video all about the KLED coated for our citrus OA. Our Kaeli Citrus 08 was one of the first fragrances that I developed and I actually worked on it with my sister Hedda. And this fragrance was developed by our amazing nose, Gabriella Chalaru from Fier Maniche. She's just phenomenal. She has become one of our most used noses, creating so many fragrances in our collection. She's actually created six of our nine fragrances that have launched already and many more that are in the works. She's a woman in a very male dominated world. So I'm so proud of her and I love working with her and she really does understand the KLE DNA. Collection one was actually created around a full layering concept. When we created collection one, elixir was really the juice that we wanted you to wear with any of the other toppers. So citrus was the topper that you would use to kind of energize and boost your energy and your mood and vanilla was to make it really sweet and delicious and musk was to make it really clean and soft and just make you feel really like fresh. Every single topper had a different mood effect on your juice, but you can wear all of them individually and on their own. But citrus really is that mood boosting, energizing fragrance that makes me feel instantly uplifted and I'm ready to start my day. And I really love using it right before I exercise as well. It's a great energy boost. So for the inspiration behind this juice, we really wanted to create something that was very rosy but sparkling at the same time. And now in retrospect, I realized I probably should have named this like a sparkling rose rather than a citrus because it really is a rosy fragrance. And we have one of the most high quality roses in here, Rose de Mai. It's just so beautiful. It really is a sparkling rose citrusy fragrance. And when we worked with our nose, we wanted to use some bergamot, some grapefruit, different berries, roses, oak moss, tonka. She came back with multiple different mods, and we ended up picking our eighth mod, which is why it's called Citrus 08. And we really did feel that it was the perfect juice to launch with the collection to add a lot of variety from the other juices. I feel like a lot of people don't necessarily gravitate towards it because it's called citrus and they think it's gonna be like a lemony kind of bergamot, like just overly citrus juice, but when they spray it, they actually realize it's a really beautiful, effervescent, sparkling rose. So I feel like we need to kind of change the name, but it's too late. But I want people who love rosy fragrances to try it because you're probably going to love it. So if I had to describe Citrus Away, I would definitely say it's super energizing, bright, and very flirty. If Citrus Away was a place, I would say it would be Malibu in California. To me, it's just like understated. Somebody who is like so chic and cool, they're very chilled out about it. And like, to me, that's Malibu. They don't try too hard, they just are cool. Like that's Citrus 08 for me. And if Citrus 08 was a song, it would definitely be Malibu by Miley Cyrus. A, I love her so much and I love that song. And it really does make me feel that. It's like happy, go lucky vibe. It's just like amazing, happy vibes. Next to you. The sky is more blue, more blue, more blue <laughs> and Malibu, that's it. Yay. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a concert next. <laughs> I love wearing Citrus Away, especially first thing in the morning when I'm training, I'm going out for breakfast, brunch. Like to me, it's really a daytime, beautiful fragrance. I love layering it as well. For the longest time ever, I would layer citrus and elixir together first thing in the morning, and it really did energize me. It's just a beautiful morning combination. It really does make you feel like you're waking up early and you wanna seize the day. You wanna go get stuff done. This is the best mood lifting, energizing juice. I love mixing it with the apple note, which is why I loved layering it with elixir, but now I'm layering it with Eden and it's just such a beautiful combination. All right. Mm, oh my God, honestly, so divine. It's perfect for the morning. For me, I always like love starting my day with a juicy apple. If you're like in a not so great mood, you're feeling kind of blah, you need to pick me up. Honestly, instant mood booster. This with a cup of coffee, you're good. You're good. Guys, this combination. If Citrus 08 was a celebrity, it would be Miley Cyrus meets Hailey Bieber meets Harry Styles all together. And they become like one superhuman unicorn. That would be Citrus 08. 
So we've highlighted our keynotes on the back of our packaging and we have bergamot, pink grapefruit, rose centifolia, musk, and oak moss. So in the top we have beautiful sparkling citrus notes of bergamot and grapefruit. We have black currant, rhubarb, and one of my favorite notes, pink pepper. And in the middle, we have two of the most beautiful roses. We have Rose de Mai, as well as Rose de Messina from Bulgaria, which is a really beautiful rose as well. In the dry down, we have Musk, of course, as always, in Kaylee fragrances. We have Tonka and we have Oak Moss, which just builds a really beautiful base that dries down so gorgeously and really makes it last all day. So here are some fun facts about our Citrus Await notes. The bergamot notes is actually from a fruit that is a citrus fruit that looks very similar to a lemon, but it's a little bit more hair shaped. Bergamot actually came from the city of Bergamo from Italy. Definitely is a very popular fragrance note used in fragrances. Just creates a beautiful citrusy energizing top. Another fun fact about one of our notes is the musk note. A lot of people don't know this, but the musk note actually originated from the male gland of a deer and thank god this process stopped a very long time ago and all the musks we use today are synthetic but it did originate from a male deer it was considered something that was kind of like an aphrodisiac that really kind of made people feel very sensual so the musk note is known to be very sensual and enticing um, but it did actually originate from a, a deer. Ah, that makes me so sad. And a fun fact about oak moss is that it was actually found in a lot of the ancient tombs in Egypt, and they didn't know whether it was being used for food or for fragrances, but it is a really beautiful, woody, mossy note. We've used it in quite a few of our fragrances, and it's also one of the notes in Baccarat Rouge. Super popular fragrance from MFK. Really makes fragrances last longer and there's like a beautiful trail. Oak moss is beautiful. Another fun fact about the Rose Centifolia note. These types of roses only grow in two fields in grass in France. And I actually went there to pick the roses myself just to experience how it felt and how they smell when they're actually in their rose form. They're so beautiful, very expensive. They are one of the most expensive fragrance ingredients. They're so precious and really there's only about two weeks to get these roses. And that's why they're called Rose de Mai. It happens in May, the first few weeks of May. You go in, you have to get all the roses you can. It really is rare. So that's why it's such a special expensive ingredient, but they smell so, so, so delicious. And for my fragrance layering suggestions, I definitely think that the Citrus 08 works beautifully with our Eden Juicy Apple, as well as Deja Vu White Flower and Vanilla 28. So if you're looking to create something like a little like lemon cake sort of vibe, you definitely should try our Citrus 08 with the Vanilla 28 on top. It really does make you feel fun, flirty, and sweet and sexy at the same time gorgeous combination. And I also love layering Citrus Away with Deja Vu White Flower. And for me, this is something that I'll wear when I wanna create a really like floral overload. A mixture of the white flowers with the sparkling rose together just makes you feel like you are walking through a garden of beautiful flowers and it's just so sexy and sweet at the same time. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning about Citrus 08, one of our first babies. Please share your thoughts. Let us know if you've tried it and if you did, what you like wearing it with or did you learn anything new about your own fragrance notes that you love today. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me. Thank you so much guys.